Okay, so I am wanting to um, replicate this picture that I found on Pinterest. I got everything from Pinterest, don't I? It's like the two words that I use most in these videos are Pinterest and Dollar Store. Okay, Dollar Store is two words, but you get what I'm saying. I am constantly getting inspiration from Pinterest and constantly getting materials from the Dollar Store. It is a beautiful um, fishtail braid, and I just think it's the perfect, perfect, perfect fishtail braid. So, I'm going to try to do it today. So, the first thing we want to do is um, right above this eye, or that eye, whichever way, you, whichever side of your, your face you like to part your hair on, um, you're want, going to want to take something like this, um, a comb, anything with this, um, I think it's called a rat tail, um, and just right above the middle of your eye, go and section off a chunk of hair. So in this case, I'm going to be about that much for me. And please don't judge me. I know my roots are horrible right now. I've just been really, really, really lazy. Okay, so you only want to do about, mm, about three inches or so back. And then what you want to do after you're done doing that is take this two or three inch section and make a part going this way. So before your ear, so you want to take this section of hair, and it should be even. It's not perfectly even, but it's even enough. You can make it a little bit better by going like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so we have this section. And we want to keep this separated. So I'm just going to take anything. In this case, I have this really big hideous rubber band. It's not scrunchy hideous, but it's pretty hideous. Okay, and then um, what we want to do next is just take all of your hair and comb it back like this. Kind of like you're putting it in a, like a low pony. All of it should come back. And now we can use the same rubber band and tie back this section of your hair, just like that. Okay, so now we've basically sectioned off um, this part and we've combed back this part. So now what we want to do next is start the braid. Now there are a ton of YouTube videos out there on how to do fishtail braids. Um, my sister taught me how to do it and I'm so glad she did because it's my go-to braid nowadays. Nowadays, nowadays, nowadays. Um, okay, so what you want to do is pull all of your hair to one side, the side opposite of the chunk that you pulled out and you want to do a fishtail. And basically the way fishtails work, it's pretty simple, just time consuming, especially if you have long hair. Split your hair into two sections. So one section, two section, hopefully you can see that. And you just want to take a piece from the back section or the section that my left hand is holding and section it off and bring it over to the right section. And then you wanna take a piece from this front section, right here, and bring it over to the back section. You're basically crisscrossing the sections this is hard to do when I'm not looking in a mirror. <laughs> ah. Okay, so just keep crisscrossing like that. So I just brought over another section from the back. And I'm going to bring over a section from the right, the front, a section from the back, and 
the horse and I'm just going to keep doing that. Like I said, this is the most difficult part because, um, or not difficult, but it's just, it's just time consuming. Okay, so I've um, braided to about like the last, I don't know, four inches or so of my hair. Um, I also at some point tied this back because it was flapping in my face. So this is what the braid looks like right now. And um, I'm just going to finish off. Oh, I kind of lost my place here. So it's going to be <laughs> probably not the best looking fish at the bottom maybe day old fish. Wow, that was a really, really bad joke. Okay, so I'm gonna steal this from here. Actually, I'm not. I am going to take one of these clear elastic bands and that's what I'm gonna use to tie the bottom of my hair with. Little suckers are tiny. I think these were two dollars. They're really inexpensive. And you can't see anything. It's awesome. They do break easily though, so I recommend doubling up. Okay, now we're gonna move to this part of my hair. Um have a heating device. Um I use a straightening iron, but you can use a curling iron, have it ready. Mine needs to warm up, so I'm gonna give it some time. Okay, so we're gonna move on to this part of the braid. Oh, I have a TV volume up. I'm watching white swap. Ah, crazy people out there. Anyway, um, you, we want to work on this little tiny pretty curl at the bottom of her braid. So I'm gonna take my um, I'm gonna take my chi, flattening iron, straightening iron, and I'm going to just do a curl. Just curl the end. Voila. I'm just literally just taking it through so that it's not rough. And now we are going to move on to this section right here, this little flippy area. And that's why we left this out. So um, you might need some bobby pins if your hair is really long, this section, depending on how your hair is layered. Uh, I guess that'll also determine how much of a, of a section you keep out when you're doing this. Because ultimately what you want to emulate is her little um, side swept bang sort of a look. Although it's her hair is too long, it's layered too long to be an actual bang. Okay, so what I'm going to do with my chi is I'm just going to run it through, straighten it out. And then as I get to the ends, I'm going to turn it just like that and put a little bit of a curl in it and I'm going to do that to this section and I'm going to twist and just a little bit of a curl you don't want it to be Shirley Temple like a boing curl just a nice soft little rounded curve there something like that okay and this is where you're going to need your bobby pin my hair is too long so I'm gonna take my longest section which is right here 
and I'm going to pull it back and I'm going to take a bobby pin and I'm just going to pin it right in there like that. Hopefully we're able to see that. And so that's what we're left with. I'm just going to give some of this some more body. And then we're going to hairspray this at the very end. And now we're going to work on this side of the braid. See how hers comes out and isn't, isn't like tucked behind her ear like mine? The um, quickest way to do that is just to pull on this, like this. Just bring it forward and down. You want to basically like cover your ear. So pull it forward and down like that. And then we're going to scrunch it in a little bit and give it some, some body. So I'm going to go get my hairspray and we'll do the finishing touches. One more thing, you want to make sure there's body um, back here at the crown. So what I do is I literally just push it forward with my hair, just like that. And then I'm going to take my hairspray and just set everything. This is um, a fancy fish down. I mean, she wore it on the red carpet, but you still don't want it to look perfect and polished. You still want it to be you know, messy and beachy and, you know, casual.